Alright there guys, thanks for tuning back in. This is Rich Ray. I wanted to talk to you both on. Just received, I, I wanted to try an unboxing and a review video, like a immediate review unboxing thing like that, but um, due to circumstances, don't really do that kind of stuff anymore. Over, I just got my brand new next belt. You can see the, the package here. They've got a code, they've got stuff, you can look them up. Um, I got myself a brand new next belt, and let me just show you here. Take this off. This is the brand new next belt. Push this button here. Unthread it. This is a ratcheted style. And this is their Supreme. appendix style next belt so the buckle is a lot thinner a lot less uh, stuff going on that way um, I still got it kind of long because I'm figuring out different uh, pants and the belt loops and all this stuff anyways I just wanted to show you I'm trying to keep this video super short um, how much I actually really really like this uh, I just helped a couple friends really good dear friends today move uh, and I wore this thing the whole time this button was never depressed um, the belt never came loose on me I had stuff in my waistband the entire time uh, <clears throat> make stuff you all know that played with belts that you get with pants uh, this one's from proper um, there are also belts that come with um, uh, uh, true spec, etc., etc. Um, this is a typical belt. <coughs> they call it a, a mil spec belt, whatever it would be. It would be up in the uh, categories of things that you might um, maybe wear. I don't know. Um, fake riggers belt I don't know you can get this for 15 20 bucks at your local Army Navy store <coughs> funny part uh, uh, which would I go with? All right. um, the last couple years I actually have been wearing uh, a brown coat tactical belt so I'm not gonna dog on them at all love this belt absolutely love the raptor buckle compared to the cobra buckle because it's smaller it's more streamlined um, customizable <clears throat> they built it to what i want instead of being a dual layer brown coat tactical actually made me a single layer for this edc belt and then started offering it after that as an option for a little bit more of a flexible option and that is that. Um, so I've had Raptor buckles for EDC belts. I've actually made my own uh, belts and dog collars out of Cobra buckles. So everybody flaming up in the comments about uh, Cobra buckles are the best and you need to do... No, no. Uh, so this is the 500 pound rated dog collar buckle or dog collar that I um, made for my Husky. Um, with the plastic one and uh, the actual one from the fellers belt this is the micro one <coughs> and this is dedicated obviously if you can't tell um, this is dedicated because I super hot glue or it wasn't hot glue but uh, <coughs> super permanently affixed it to uh, this chainsaw belt for knocking out trees. So, <clears throat> raptor belts, cobra belts, or buckles, raptor buckles, cobra buckles, <clears throat> other belts, they just never seem to do what I needed. This seems like it's going to fit the bill pretty well. Sorry for the tones in the background, I guess I'm getting blown up in a group message. 
Uh, not unlike a lot of videos out there you see with annoying lawnmower guys. <clears throat> so this is the next belt. Um, the next belt will and has a bunch of different belts out there. This one is their again their supreme appendix carry. It's gonna be a little bit thicker down here. Right about there, and my camera of course is not super focusing, which is great because we love that kind of stuff. Um, but what I do like is that it ratchets at a quarter inch at a time. You can hear that. Then all you do is push this little button. And it comes off. So it makes it really convenient when you uh, are carrying standing up and sit down or get yourself in the car or have Thanksgiving dinner. And all you got to do is push that little button and your belly can expand a little bit for some room. So they'll send it to you. And <clears throat> what they tell you to do is give you an extra four inches from your average waist length to get this strap, um, the excess um, off. And I ended up cutting off at least this much. And then uh, a couple inches more uh, just because for science and for because it just still wasn't tight enough and I'm still not sure if that's quite tight enough I am probably gonna take another two inches off that I'm probably 160 pounds soaking wet and that just needs to be uh, maybe a little bit tighter but I'm <clears throat> testing it out testing it off in a whole bunch of different pairs of jeans so what I did here for science what you're not going to see on any other videos on next belt stuff. Come on, focus. I'm going to have to manually focus you? You suck. So I went ahead and I... I cut one apart little bits here so I, I'm not sure if, ah, it sucks it's not focusing it's a dual layer there we go maybe a little bit maybe come on anyways it's a dual layer the outside on the supreme uh, appendix belt is actually really nice compared to their their regular one. It's kind of like this material, uh, but this is still on the inside with the markings and whatnot. So I ended up just for science, I decided to split this open, and it's actually a faux, fa, whatever you might want to call it, leather. Um, I almost wanted to call it like a cardboard, but it's not cardboard. I actually soaked this exact piece and a uh, mason jar full of water for 24 hours and it didn't absorb anything and it's still um, actually as it was so uh, even remove some of the stitching and try to delaminate it a little bit and I just cut this piece off with a razor blade but um, super stuck on there very well made um, did not absorb any of the water any of the moisture uh, it does rip a little bit but <clears throat> it is what it is I mean I, I don't they don't really tell you on their website or, and nobody's really said what the material that they use is there's not like a seal or aluminum core that they use um, for that you know anywhere in the information systems about these belts but do really really like the next belt appendix <clears throat> supreme appendix Didn't focus so plus one on you next belt because <clears throat> I'm a fan I'm recommending it to everybody if they give me a promo code I'll try to offer it up to everybody else I'm gonna set this back on because 
You never know when shit's gonna get nasty. Uh, yeah, maybe you can even see this part. Screw it, they sent this to me, you can have it. If you go on like I did too and try to do their review rewards or blah 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 or whatever, you can get 10% off right away for using uh, Love 10. Yeah, uh, on their website, Oregon. I purchased this belt myself. Um, looked at mission belts. I looked at core essential belts, and then I looked at slide belts. And all those belts didn't seem like they had um, the quality or the offerings. And um, I just wanted to mention this too. Um, next belt seems to hold, and and they put this on their website too. Next Belt um, puts it out there that they are the original with um, the advertising for the belt with no holes and are applying for the patents for such technology and something about pins versus screws and blah 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 there's stuff out there but if you're interested um, hit me up I think they might send me some codes and there's some referral program where I might be able to get a free belt eventually after enough stuff and reviews and, and other things like that. But I just thought you guys would really like to see that click it up. I'm sitting down on the car. Opens back up. Tighten it back up. Really, really nice belt. Really nice belt. Very happy with my purchase. I've only seen one other video um, on YouTube about these where the guy wasn't happy with it from one of the originals that I think they worked out a lot of the kinks. So, um, tried a lot of belts, tried a lot of buckles, tried a lot of stuff. Going with the next belt. Thanks for tuning in, guys. See you in the next video.